everyone, I'm Laura. And I'm Cecilia. And uh, we, uh, this is our video podcast and we're, um, we've decided to call it the Three Kittens Yarn Muse. Muse. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we've been sitting here talking for about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes yeah, probably. Yeah, 10 minutes, good 10 minutes. And we minutes, just yeah. realized the camera was not running. Yay. So yeah, now we have to Try and say everything all of our that we just clever said. things. Because oh my were god, we really had so many on fire. clever things. Ugh. God, sorry you guys missed it. It was yeah, the best. It was. It really <laughs> was. Oh well, we had fun. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so now we have to figure out. Remember what we're talking. Well, we, yeah. we gave them our Ravelry names. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, you go first. All right, my Ravelry name is Knitting Chaos, and and why? And why is because. Before I was on Ravelry, and I've been on Ravelry a long time, I had I was one of the people who was on the waiting list, so that was a long time, and so from the very beginning almost, and I had a blog at that point, and it was called Knitting Chaos, so because at the time I had three cats, two dogs, and one teenage girl, which meant chaos. My whole house was always noisy, always full of teenage drama. drama yeah yeah and so and i angst. just and angst so much angst yeah lots of angst <laughs> so that is where it came from okay and you know. all right well mine is k5 tog or which stands for knit five together because i have five people in my family three kids and a husband and me yeah yeah and they're the kids are all grown now um as a matter of fact, my son just got married on Tuesday. It's a big event. I, this, I know this is a yarn podcast, but I'm just going to show you this. I'm making this for them. Isn't that cute? She's got blonde hair. My son has dreadlocks. I haven't put that in yet. Um, but I will. I will. Yep. So, yeah. Marriage took place. Everything was good. No one fell in the river. We're no. all happy. <laughs> It was up north in uh, northern Wisconsin, and it snowed the night before, so it was beautiful, and we had just the right number of people, and yeah, it all went well. It's always good when yeah. there's no catastrophes. Absolutely. Well, one of Christian's, well, first of all, my youngest son came home from college, and um, the day after he came home, he got some kind of stomach bug. It was a 24-hour thing, okay? It wasn't the brown bottle flu. I have, I don't know what it is. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I asked him that because he had gone to the um, the bachelor party the night yeah. before, right? And he said, no, Mom, I didn't drink very much because I already wasn't feeling well. Um, but ooh, he was really sick. Yeah. Um, and that, So he came from Denver, right? Another one of Tom's friends came from Denver. And guess what? The day of the wedding... He was violently ill. So I think they brought something from Denver, and I'm just hoping they didn't spread it to everybody. I hope so, too, because you're wedding. sitting really close to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, let's see. What else did we talk about? You talked about your your circle you're working on oh yeah i'm i'm doing a gauge swatch for um straight and trick which is a, a kate davies uh sweater that i want to do and i'm going to show you a picture because i don't have the pattern with me we're thinking about doing it as a knit along but i don't know only two people have signed up so i or have shown interest but isn't that cool it's all feral knitting it's steeped so you um, end up cutting the armholes and cutting the neckline and uh, I think people want to learn how to do that, but they're a little scared. Well, Steaking's easy. Yeah, I was scared when I first did it, too. That's why I started with a baby sweater. I, no, a teddy bear sweater, even better. Yes. Even smaller. Yeah, and because the bear doesn't care. His arms are too tight. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the part, biggest problem with steaking for me was learning the sewing machine because... I have a terrible fear of sewing machines. I've gotten better because I've taken some classes over a treadle. Yeah. But that was the worst part of trying to, like, sew that straight line. And it's like, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> but cutting didn't bother me at all. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Especially if you're, 
like this is Elemental Affects um, Shetland wool, and I, you're not going to be able to tell much by looking at it, but it's very toothy and sticky. So if you have the right kind of wool, it's not going anywhere when you mm -hmm. cut it. Nope. It's just going to grab onto itself, and it's not just going to sit gonna, there. It's going to just stay there. Yeah. Now, I mean, if you had a superwash wool, yeah, that would not be, be good because they take all the um, the toothiness out. Yeah, all the scales off, mm -hmm. right? For yep. superwash. Um, yes, they because they do. don't want it to felt. Yes. So That's or full. Full, whichever. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. Full's the right term, but felt is what everybody uses. Says, yeah. 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 So it's become the right term. Right. Isn't that how language works? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird. Um, also, this is the sweater I was working on last time, and remember I said that I thought there was an error in the pattern, and I was so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So if any, this is called Flex. It's by Heidi Kermeyer, and I think it's really cute. And it I, is cute. I love the way it turned out. And all I have to say is trust the pattern. It's an oddly shaped design because you knit this much on the front, and then on the back, on you know you put it on um, waist yarn or something, and then you knit the back all the way up to here. So, you know, there's like a six inch difference and then you attach them and you start knitting in the round on the yoke. So the yoke is shaped kind of like oh, that. Yes. That's why it's going yeah. that way. Yeah. And so, and you're decreasing down, decreasing down until all of a sudden all you have left is eight stitches here and you pull your yarn through. Cool. And then yeah. you I mean, seam you, it and together do here? You, no. No? That's, part of, that's just oh, part so of the yoke. Oh. It decreases for the yoke. I mean, you, you interesting. You bind off some for the back, so some of it's knit back and forth. Mm -hmm. But um, up at the top, it's most of it's knit in the round. It's it's a really cool pattern, and um, you know, I'd be really tempted to make it for myself because I think it's really cute. It is really cute. You yeah. should make one for yourself. I don't know if I'm going to use this yarn. I, I don't normally knit things twice. You know, I yeah. knit, knit something for the store and then done with it. Yeah. But this yarn is so cool. It's it's squishy. Yeah. Because of the ribbon. Yeah. Well, it looks good in this too. Yeah. I mean, it it, it gives it a little body, mm -hmm. as it were. Yeah. So I don't know. I might make it. That'd be awesome. You should. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> really, you don't have anything else to knit, do you? Uh, no. No. Nothing. <laughs> well, you know, after I get done with oh so. I mentioned that one pattern, one thing that I'm working on is a crochet, um, test crochet for Shop Hop, which is next week. Um, so Make sure you're chop, ready. Chop, chop. Um, Put your time off in so you can get off work and come in on Friday. Absolutely. Or Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, it starts Thursday the 5th and goes through Sunday the 8th. It's a long time. And I don't know if we met, talked about it last time, but um, what you do is you go, there are 15 stores involved and you go from store to store you have a little passport you get your passport stamped at each store that you go to and each store has a specialty um, hand dyed yarn that they've gotten for their store but some people do kits um, yeah. like uh, like a gradient pack or something like that yeah um, I don't know if anybody's doing that this year because we didn't uh, we had our last meeting last week, and we didn't do a reveal of our yarns or anything oh, this time. Yeah. So um, I don't so really know what anybody we, none else of us is doing. Know. Um, we don't even know what we're doing. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, everybody, all, every store has at least one pattern for free. So you go, you get your card stamped, you pick up your pattern, you buy some yarn if you want to, and then you go to the next store. And if you go to all 15 stores, you get entered into... The grand prize drawing, we have four grand prizes this year. They're um, $250 gift certificates that you can use at any of the stores oh. or any combination of the stores. So you could go to one store and buy, you know, $50 worth of yarn and then go to another store and buy $50 worth of yarn. Um, or you could come here and spend $250 worth of yarn. Well, yeah, you could do that too. Wherever. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, do, it's do it. up to you. Um, and then there are... Um, there's second chance prize. I can't remember what that is. It's something awesome. Uh, yeah, something less than $250. And um, then each store has a $50 prize, I think. And then each store does a door prize each day. So, um, yeah. 
Lots so of, it, it's fun. Lots of free stuff to win. Yep. And a lot of fun to have. Yep. Everybody usually has something going on. We all have a little theme action. Yep. And mm. also, we raise money for, for the food shelves. So there are a couple of things that you, a couple of ways you can do that. One way is you can bring um, a $5 donation to each store. And when you give your $5 donation, you get a special collectible um, charm bead kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's an awesome thing. Yeah. If you don't want to do five dollars at each store, you don't want to carry around five dollar bills, or um, you're going to go to all the stores and you want to save a little money, you can buy a fifty dollar Easy Pass. Um, they're available now at any of the participating stores, or um, you can, can you buy, buy them online? during. No, you can't buy it online. We don't have the capability to do mm -hmm. that. Um, uh, but they'll be available during the shop hop as well. So. Um, yeah, I should look into that. Believe me, we hear that from people every every year. It's just, you know. Yeah. Well, first of all, our website's going to be redone again. So maybe, maybe, maybe. that'll be an option then. Um, and then we'll have to decide. So each store picks their own food shelf that they want to um, give money to. So if you bought your Easy Pass here, we give money to the Neighborhood House, which is over in West St. Paul. Good folks. Yeah, um, for their food shelf. If you gave money at um, Twisted Loop down in, um, where are they? They're way south of here. Are they the one? Prior Lake. Prior Lake. Yeah. yeah. They give money to is a food shelf library? down there. Yeah, they're, they're in the library. Um, I always want to say Shakopee, and I know yeah. it's wrong. So, <laughs> so if, if we figured out a way to sell the Easy Passes online, we would have to come to an agreement where that money's going to go to, you know, maybe Second Harvest as a group. Yeah. Get, you know. Yeah. But anyway, somebody's going to work on the website because some are not me. Um, what? You don't got anything better to do. I'll give some opinions because <laughs> I got lots of those. Yes, she does. Um, you better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, the other shop hop thing that, uh, well, first of all, I keep trying to say this and we keep getting sidetracked. The other project that I'm working on is something for the Progressive East End project, which is seven stores on the east side of town who get together in the summer and do a, um, a project where you you go to each store to buy a mini skein to make, and you get a piece of a pattern at each store. And when you get done, you have all the mini skeins that you need for the project and the full pattern. So that's coming up at the end of July. Um, it's like the last weekend in July, first weekend in August. Um, it's so, our second year. Yeah, so I can't. I can't show you that one either because, yeah, I can't reveal that. And I can't show you anything because I didn't bring anything in because I suck. <laughs> but you know what? You can talk about your pat or your sweater My because sweater. we did that when the camera, camera wasn't, wasn't running. running. Yeah. So, so you can I, do that again now. I am wearing my antler sweater. Um, everyone here knows I am not a big sweater knitter. Um, this is like the second one I've ever done for myself, I think. Yeah, but you made a Norwegian sweater for your mom. I did make a Norwegian sweater for my mom because... That's a labor of love. Yeah, because I love her. And I she lived in Arizona for years and years and years. And I said, oh, mom, if you ever move back to Minnesota, I'll make you a Norwegian sweater. Fully believing she was never coming back here. <laughs> Not ever. She loved you Arizona. You learned your lesson. <laughs> and like less than six months later, my sister Norma calls, Mom's moving home. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> so, Better yeah. Better get knitting. <laughs> yeah, so it took me a couple years to knit it. And it was funny because I had Janine help me finish it off because I was having trouble with the button bands. And she's like, I'll block it too. And I told her. And she brings it back. She's like... Now, if that doesn't fit, you bring that in, bring it back to me, and I will block it some more. And and so then I took it to my mom, fit her perfectly, FYI, because I had my mom's measurements. And I brought back the picture, and I showed it to Janine, and she was like, honestly, my mother and I looked at it and said, that doesn't fit anybody who exists. <laughs> I said, it fits my mom. <laughs> but this antler pattern, now I got totally sidetracked. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is Tin Can Knits. Uh, I love their patterns. They are straightforward, 
to the point. Their charts are great. You just, and I did this as a knit along, and my compatriots in the knit along finished way before me. The one gal finished before the last session. She was just sewing on buttons the last week. She was awesome. Some people. Yeah, their sweaters were gorgeous. But I got mine done. I, it's my go-to sweater, which is why it's this weird gray color, which anyone who knows me knows I'm more like these colors. See these bright, bright colors? I look at yarn and I'm like, ooh, that's so pretty. You know? <laughs> like, like this. This. That's me. I'm like, that's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, now you're going to have to talk about that yarn. Ah. Okay, we'll finish talking about that, and then you well, can talk about the yarn. So anyway, I would rec this is made out of the Rowan Pure Wool Worsted, which is a great yarn. It's beautiful. It knits up great. I love how this has just a little bit of coloration in it, but not too much. And I like this sweater. So there. It looks good. And I didn't put buttons on it because I hate doing buttonholes. So, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you close it up with like a, I, I, a shawl pen or something. Well, shawl stick. It, it, it's or actually. Or a double pointed needle. It's my cable needle. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I have a sweater so, that I close up with a, a curved crochet hook. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it, but it looks good and I, I didn't today because I wasn't sure what the temperature was going to be. So. All right. So show us that yarn. All right. So this yarn. This one that I showed you. you before is called, I gotta give the names, because that's the important part. Squad Goals. So th this is um, Nerd, Nerd Girl. Girl. Oh Snap Sock. Yes, and so this would be from that terrible movie that came out a few years ago <laughs> with the villains. I have no idea. Man, I can't remember. Anyway, this is Fight the Fairies. That is from Supernatural. This one is Starry Night which would be from Van Gogh, in case you never heard of him. <laughs> and this is Night King, which I'm assuming is, in fact, Batman. Oh, <sighs> I see, I see. But it might not be. It might be for someone else, because sometimes I'm not sure. Yeah. But I love Nerd Girl. I think her colors are awesome. I love this yarn. It's BFL, so I can knit with and it. And what's BFL? Blue Face Leicester. It is an traditional English breed and it is of wool of wool because it's a <laughs> sheep I'm sorry it's a breed of sheep uh, and it is very durable it is you know if you're gonna make socks you're better off making it with the BFL because it's gonna last longer than your merino the merino is softer but it isn't as sturdy and I yeah, think when you when you go for softness you don't you, you don't, don't get, get the, sturdy. the sturdy or the durability yeah um, there's a reason when you look at those old sweaters that have been around forever, mm -hmm. they're made out of nice toothy wool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, and I think the colors at the BFL are so fabulous. It takes colors great. It does. I just, so and while your girl has great, great While you're stuff. at it, you should show some of that candy skein. Oh, now, candy I just skein. pulled a couple of bags and <laughs> I realized... They Just all look now the that same. they all are kind of similar. Would that be because there are colors you like? No, I, I didn't I didn't actually I just picked a variety. I just didn't grab the bags of the other colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um but this one is our exclusive colorway. Yes. It's called Neverland Nougat. Um from Peter Pan. You no, know, I'm trying to remember Tammy from um Candy Skein developed this for us when we were doing a sock club we we don't do our sock club anymore but um it's but pretty it's, isn't it's it it's gorgeous everybody likes that color yeah it's got all the good and colors what else do we have we have this one which is called robin egg malt ball because it's easter and so that's appropriate well and, and they're delicious know, candy skein so it's they're delicious and it's easter and it's candy and if you wet them you can color your lips with them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you want to try it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this color. Yeah. Um, this one is Blueberry Cobbler. Also delicious. Sweet foods. Mm-hmm. And this is an Earl Grey Latte. I don't like lattes, but I love Earl Grey. So close yeah. enough, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> but I like But these. we have other colors, yes. too. We, we, th both of these yarns just came in yesterday, and so. So we're showing They're both off. fingering weight. Um, this is a yeah. great neutral. And this one is so soft. It is... 
alpaca, silk, and cashmere. So if you want a nice little shawl, mm -hmm. lots of drape, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Probably not a whole sweater because that would be really grow and be hot. <laughs> yeah, that alpaca and silk, that'll make it hot. Yeah, that for sure. would be hot. And the cashmere doesn't, doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, yeah. But if you're cold all the time, it might be good. Yeah. So other things that we have to talk about, um, we already talked about Shop Hop, but one thing I forgot to mention is that this week, starting today, every store involved in the Shop Hop who's been involved before is putting on putting their patterns from last year onto Ravelry for free. All of them have been on at a price, like ours were five dollars each, mm -hmm. and now they're free for the next week through next Thursday. Um, we like to do all of our shop, previous shop hop patterns. So not just the ones from last year, but the ones from two years ago, three years ago. All the years. All the years that we have the patterns on Ravelry. I mean, some of the early patterns we didn't, we never got onto yeah. Ravelry. But this is one of the patterns from last year. This is the disco ball shawl. Oops. Here, let me hold that for yep. you. Flop it all over me. Um, yeah, we still have some of this yarn left. This is Molly Girl Diva. Mm -hmm. and It's sparkly. It's very sparkly. I don't know that you can tell that in here. We have both, us, both the purple and this gray with the um, bright colors. Not a lot of that purple left, though. Yeah, and it's on our website in mm -hmm. our... Um, Yes. in our deals and steals section so it's not available in the store you have to get it on the website yes but okay. if you order it on there i will ship it out yeah. to you so this is disco ball shawl um it's one of my designs and you can go onto ravelry and type in the pattern search minnesota yarn shop hop um spell out minnesota and it will bring you to a page where you get a link for all of the all of the patterns that have been done uh, for Minnesota Yarn Shop Hop. Uh, we also had a mitt pattern. I can't find it. I, I searched everywhere and I couldn't find it, but it's a crocheted mitt. So did that. Did you look in the mitt I did. box? Hmm. Um, and I looked in the uh, sample sale stuff and couldn't find it. So anyway, that one's available, crochet pattern. Here's another crochet pattern. This was from, I don't know how many, 2015. So wow. three years ago. This is my pattern. Oh, the the mitt from last year, Shelly Paps, Pabst. who works for us. As she um, says, Paps like the beer, not like the schmear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she told me that the other day. I nearly died. I'm like, I cannot that's, believe you tell people that. That's hilarious. So I figure it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the Gustav Cowl, or Gustav. Gustav, isn't it? Well, it's a V at the end, so Gustav. I don't know. I don't know. I anyway, say Gustav. Anyway, I'm not Norwegian or Swedish or whatever that is. Well, I am, I... so we're going to Gustav. Okay, you go, girl. <laughs> um, so that's available on there. We have another. This is Tunisian crochet. Also Laura's. Yeah. A lot of Laura patterns here, I see. Yeah, I end up designing most of the you didn't bring mine out what yeah i have yours okay i haven't gotten to it yet this is uh the bemidji cowl tunisian crochet two it's, colors it's fabulous that's um we still have that's hazelnuts yeah this is hazelnuts and it's a dk weight so that's kind of nice uh this is cecilia no, it's no this is mine neither one of Where's, those are mine i thought that's how it goes here which one was all yours? about laura which one was yours? to the north woods hat Oh, like I didn't find trees. it. You know what? It might be. Is it over there someplace? So anyway, this is the Northwoods hat. No, it's not. Uh, you're right. This is the Lake Place hat. Sorry. Um, and it's got little. I don't know what to call them. Um, kind of a slip stitch thing. This is a crocheted hat called Wobegon Hat by Shelly and me together. It's a very slouchy hat. Everybody loved this at the shop hop two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Oh, you got it. Good. Yeah. I don't know how I missed that. 
Because it was in the box, I suppose. No, no, I, I looked at the box. That's where I got these last two hats, so I don't know. All right. And this one's mine. Yeah, this is the Northwoods hat. It's very cute. Yes. Very cute. It's a I love the little pattern. pattern. So. I have the best story about that. You do? I do. You want to tell? Yes. So when I was designing it, because I got that stitch pattern from a Barbara Walker book, because I love Barbara Walker. She's the best. Yeah. I, I take a lot of stitch patterns from her books. And it was no chart, of course, when it was done flat. So I had to chart it out and then do a little test thing. And I didn't want to do a whole hat, but I wanted to do it round. So I did a little tiny hat, and it worked good, but then I had to block it to see how it would look once it got blocked, and what do you block something this small on, right? Right. And I happen to have a clown nose, because... <laughs> why? I don't know why it was in the drawer. <laughs> I don't know where it came from, I'll be honest with you, but I Very had funny. one, and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. So I actually developed a clown nose warmer with that little with the, my little practice hat. So did you put that pattern on Ravelry? I, I put it on Ravelry as clown nose warmer. Yeah, that's what I and mean. Yes. Oh, I didn't actually post it, but it yeah. was like, you know, if anyone wanted to, but that's what I called it. And But I also counted it as half a hat because that was the year I was doing all the hats. Oh, sure. And so it was kind of a cheat, but yeah. it could be a hat for somebody very small. Yeah. You know. Funny. All right, we should talk about other things. Oh, yeah, I, so I wanted much to, stuff. Yeah, I wanted to show this, too, because I don't think I showed this last time. No, I you just didn't. finished this recently. <clears throat> this is True Colors by Melanie Berg. And bring it this way a little bit uh, so they can see how it changes to the main color here. Um, this is a kit. I loved making this. It was so much fun. It's, it's very easy, pretty. easy lace pattern. It's beautiful. Um, it would go with anything. Yeah. Like my sweater. It does. <laughs> you could wear it with that great outfit, so everyone and, would be happy. You know, yeah, I, I think I'd be Marino. way too hot. Would you, you know? like to sit in my chair and then you wouldn't be so hot? Okay, you start to tell them about... Why don't you start to tell them about yarn over... And what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to go grab those flyers because... Yarn Over. Well, we got lots of stuff going on at Yarn Over. Um, we will be at Yarn Over on Saturday, April 28th. 28th. I'm going to be there, so I should probably know that day, I guess. Yeah. Um, and we will be selling fine goods. We will have... Tell what Yarn Over is. Oh, Yarn Over is an event hosted by the Minnesota Yarn Guild. Knitters Knitter Guild. Guild, sorry, sorry, ladies, sorry, change your name. Um, and they do it every year. They bring in national instructors from all over, and they have classes all day. And there's a marketplace, so a lot of local people are there, like us, selling goods. Um, it's great if you're taking a class and you discover, oh hey, I totally forgot that whatever yarn or needle or whatever. Um, you can pick one up. And, or like maybe someone will be there and you want to buy one of their books. And so there will be people there selling all sorts of things. And there will be local farms there selling yarn. I love local farms. Yeah. Um, and so everyone has a good time. The classes are always good. Some of them are full, but I think yeah. there's still some available. Available, yeah. Um, but we'll have a booth there, so stop by and say hi. Yep. Cecilia and I will be there. We will. We're going to have, can we talk about Kate? Yes. So yeah. we're going to have Kate Atherley there. Yeah, she's going to do a book signing for oh, us. Oh, she is so awesome. If you yeah. can get it to class with Kate, do it. She taught me how to do those worn piece socks. And yeah. Gosh. I can't remember what time exactly the, um, the book signing is. The lunch time is from 12 to 2 this year, so it's somewhere in there. there somewhere, someplace. <laughs> I think she's going to have lunch first and then come to our booth, so maybe 12.30, but it might be 1. I can't remember. So for 30 minutes. so Yeah. Um, then one of the instructors that's there is J.C. Breyer, 
And she she's the author of um, Charts Made Simple, which I don't have a copy of the book here. That would have been a good idea. But, yeah. Uh, it's a great chart book. It's the best chart book. And really, ever written. if you if you don't know how to do charts and you're scared of them, oh, you really should learn how to do yeah. them. They're they're so wonderful. They're, they they make life so easy. Yeah. When I, I mean, there's a visual representation of what your knitting is actually yep. going to look like, and this I, is how it they're should just look. great. Yeah. Yeah. So we think you should do them. Yes. Um, anyway, JC is coming to teach a couple of classes for us. She is going to teach. Um, get twisted, which is all about cables and twisted stitches and things like that. So that will probably include your Bavarian traveling stitches and all sorts, not just cables. So you yeah. say, oh, I know cables. It's more than just the cables. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, there's there's so much you can do with twisted stitches. Cool. They always look great. Yeah. And then she's also going to teach wedge shawl design. So it's how to make a wedge shawl with lace motifs. Um, and she's coming I'm on. I'm very excited about that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be so much fun to be able to yeah. figure out. And I like wedge shells. They sit on your shoulders better. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll have to take the class. I'm on the list. Okay. Of, if there's room. All so, right. Um, April 29th. By the way, I will put um, links to all of this stuff in the description on YouTube of this. So if you're wondering how to sign up for this there'll be a link yep um the weekend before yarn over there's a new thing called um lys day so lys stands for local yarn store and um the national organization has come up with this lys day and there are going to be lots of um kits exclusive to uh, local yarn stores and if, if a local yarn store has decided to buy that kit those will be available just in local yarn stores they won't be available online they won't be available um, anywhere else anywhere else so we'll we'll give you a heads up on what those are when we get closer to that date probably also do a couple other like things we'll bring in the well I, I think I think what we'll do is maybe have a, a social knitting time here in the store that day as well. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, um, that'd be a good time. And then the other thing that's that we just announced last week is that we're having a knitting retreat this summer. Yes, with, we are. And I, I know we mentioned it last um, podcast, but um, we have it all set up now. So it's a three-day event, July 13th through 15th, with Melissa Leapman and Patty Lyons. And They're awesome. They are fabulous. They're really good friends, too. Um, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and I'll put a link on in the description about that as well. They'll both be teaching three classes each, plus we're going to have a uh, Sunday morning, I'm calling a knit calling it a knit and brunch uh, where they'll answer questions and stuff you're just like sort that. of hanging out looking yeah. cool yeah and, and you get to hang out with famous people yep. well famous knitting people yes <laughs> you know? and, and us and us because well, that's yeah. what i was yeah. talking about oh, who okay. are you talking yeah, about <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be at the hyatt regency over by the mall of america it's a um uh, it's a two-year-old yeah. hotel. It's, it's beautiful. a beautiful facility. Yeah, so. so nice, and I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So this is they got like a little gardening area out front that yep. you can hang out in. It's a beautiful lobby in case it, you know, God forbid, rains. But it and the where the little classes are are fabulous. I don't know. I'm just very excited about the whole place. Um, if you're coming from out of town or you just don't want to have to go home on Saturday night, which I can understand. Sometimes you yeah. just want to hang out and not have to deal. Yeah. And it's a great room rate. Yeah. It's $109 a night. Yeah. All the hotels that we looked at over there were more like $169 a night. So yeah. Yeah. It's fabulous. And the hotel rooms are beautiful. They're quiet and clean mm -hmm. and huge TVs because if you know, you've been learning all day, nothing better than just kicking back. And there's a refrigerator, so if you wanted to, you know, bring lovely beverages in there, have them nice cold beverage, maybe a yogurt, 
and watch TV. Yeah. Because what's better than beer and yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Maybe not a yogurt. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever you want to put in your refrigerator. Pretzels? That well, doesn't require have to be, heat. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, you know. They might, have, they might have had microwaves in the room. No, I look for my, I always look for microwaves. Oh, okay. All right. It's well, me. anyway, it's, we're it's, excited. I, I think would it's stay there fun. in a heartbeat. Yeah. So, in fact, I might. It, yeah. It, we'll see because we're going to go out on Saturday night, too. And yeah, we're, we're looking for an activity to do on Saturday night as a group, optional. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, has, think, I think we have. Ideas. I think we have a good idea. I just yeah. haven't, um, you know, with the wedding earlier this week. I just haven't followed up on it yet. So I was a little distracted. You know, whatever. Kid yeah. getting married, fine. Yeah, <laughs> like that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's all. You know, I look. I actually brought my list today. Yay, list. <laughs> to see what we were going to talk about. I, we've hit everything. Yes, everything. So I don't know. Anything else you want to talk about? Hmm. No, you know, we got lots of stuff coming up. We want everyone to come on in. You have any questions, stop by or on our website. We got lots of information there too. Um, you can sign up for stuff online, um, classes oh. or oh, oh, oh. whatever. Oh, oh, we have to do another giveaway. Okay, so the person who won last time has not contacted me. Uh, it's Blue Ocean something 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 who won. So. If you're watching this, you won, so uh, drop me an email. I uh, put that on, you know, when I was announcing the winner under last week's, in the comments under last week's, uh, two weeks ago video. Um, so, I don't know, what should we give away this time? I don't know. What do you want to give away? I don't know. I, I didn't think about it. Um... We could give away one of our fabulous folklore pom-poms. We could, because they are fabulous. Yeah. And they're right here. So we so, could pull them out easily. Yeah. And maybe what we do is give whoever wins options the option of choosing have... whatever color they want. We've got a lot of different natural colors. We've got red. We've got blue, which I don't have in my hand. Oh. Um, oh, we've crabs. got white. Look at that. Are you making a hat for a child who loves Grover? Perfect. <laughs> or Cookie Monster. It's also Cookie yeah, Monster Blue. Yeah, whichever. And I but like anyway. this one, which I don't know if you can see the details. It's got little dark tips. These are the best faux pom-poms I have ever seen. Yeah. They're European. They're and they We get love them from them. Austria. Yes. Austrian pom-poms. Yeah. And, and they feel great. I yeah. Mean, they're nice they're and soft, soft and fluffy. And fluffy, and they just look great. And in the bowls, they kind of look like tribbles. Yes, so. and who doesn't love tribbles? Yeah. Yeah. Even though there's troubles with them. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if we put a little sign on there that said, trouble with tribbles. Yeah. <laughs> it would be for all those yeah, Star Trek fans. Yeah. All you Trekkies out there. Yes, or Trekkers, whichever you might be. Is Trekkers the proper term? No, there's two different terms for two different groups. Oh, okay. One is the old that. school and one is the next generation. Uh, which is which? I believe Trekkers is the next generation. Okay. But please, no angry tweets. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> well, I didn't even know about it, so. But I know no there's a difference. About that, either, <laughs> I know that I'm geeky enough to know there's a difference, <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure yeah. of which is which. You know, Will Wheaton's my friend on Goodreads. I don't know if you knew that. No, really? <laughs> yes, I love Will Wheaton. He's the bomb. Uh, I love and, him on Big Bang Theory, too. Yeah. And so he, I follow his tweets, and then he's my, he, I asked him, you know, friend me on Goodreads, and he did. So I'm like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, Cecilia knows a celebrity. I do. We're like wow. this. Well, that's cool. I've met Stephen West. Does that count? Oh, I've met Stephen yeah. West, too, so. Oh, dang. Okay. Who else do I know? Okay, Facet, I've met him. I've met him too. Oh, dang it. Uh, we worked at the same place, you know. I don't yeah, know, I know. If, if you remember that. <laughs> I just couldn't remember how long you had worked here. And if I've you worked were here, here when... forever. Actually, no, I've, you have not. I've worked here eight years. Oh, well, that's pretty much forever. It kind of yeah. is. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, we should probably let you go. Yeah. Um, it's been fun. And um, sorry you missed all the great banter, you know, when the camera wasn't running. Yeah, it was the best banter. Oh, well. So. Yeah. Sorry, this other stuff really kind of sucked. Yeah. We're the worst. Well, Laura's the worst. I'm the best. Yeah. Or maybe it's the other way around. I oh. can't remember. 
<laughs> you know what I didn't say about the faux fur pom-pom? So you have to do two things. You have to comment, enter me in the contest, on the YouTube, um, in the YouTube comments, not if I post on Facebook that we have a contest or a video. You have to post in the YouTube comments. And then you scroll down yeah. to see them. And second, you have to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Yes. So subscribe, those two things. Like us. In order to be entered. Yeah. And we'll do the drawing. Um, well, next Thursday, Shop Hop, so probably do it Wednesday. Yeah. Next Wednesday. So you got six days to watch the video and enter the contest. Yeah. So. All the cool kids are doing yeah. it. All right. Bye. Well, thanks, you guys.